Pai dos anões. Tá salvado a luz. Whatever you get on a lot, the first question is always how many are alive. It, it's normally heartbreaking. It's really not a good news to hear about it. Masai Mara, one man is fighting for an animal that is often hated and feared, the vulture. Thought by many to be an ugly, bloody scavenger that feeds on the dead. Yet despite its bad rap, the vulture is one of the planet's most important species. Vultures have this unique ability to digest toxic bacteria by consuming rotting carcass. These birds clean up the landscape preventing the spread of diseases like anthrax and rabies. Vultures save lives. But in just 50 years, the vulture has been pushed to near extinction, mainly by poison. Poison that some herders put out to kill predators like lions. It is an act of revenge for preying on their livestock. The lions die, but so do the vultures that feed on the poisoned carcass. Extreme as it may seem, the farmer's actions are driven by a desperate need to protect their livelihood. The main power is a raptor's biologist. His job is to secure the status of the birds of prey in the Mara ecosystem. He is also a member of this Maasai community. Masai depends on cattle as a livelihood, and you have to feel the pain when you lose what you depend on. Hardest don't intend to poison vultures. These majestic birds are victims of a conflict that does not involve them. A conflict that is wiping them out. Lemayne is on mission to save them. As a Maasai and a wildlife biologist, Lemayne bridges both sides of this conversation. It is here in the Maasai Mara where Lemayne grew up, going to school and taking care of his father's livestock. Today, all the birds of prey in this ecosystem are under his care. I come in in terms of response. Our intention is to do what we call a site cleanup. So we save any live birds, and we also try to clean up the site to avoid any more killing. What we do is we keep the birds, depending on how they respond to treatment of the person, until when the vet say it's fit to go back to the wild. is in distress, Lemayne is a one-man response unit. To ensure that their habitat is fit for breeding, Lemayne is always watching over vulture territory, monitoring and tracking their movement. At the moment, I'm doing an intensive nest monitoring of African wildbug vulture, lapid vulture, hooded, secretary bird, wallbug eagle, tawny eagle, and butler eagles. Monitoring is a very sensitive job to do. So sometimes we only do it uh, like in the morning when it's cold and in the evening when it's cold. We tend not to disturb the bird when it is incubating, when it's hot or when it's raining. So you have to have that passion to be able to wake up, go collect your data maybe for even two years or even for three years, and then you can make a decision from it. Lemayne is fiercely protective of nests, and with reason. 
the African white-backed vulture lays one, at most, two eggs. For threatened species, these eggs are golden. An ancient Egyptian myth associates vultures with eternity. They feed on the dead, and by so doing, they transform death to life. With nine of the 22 vulture species in critical status, now it is the vulture that needs new life. It is a good day for the planet when a rescued bird is released back into the wild. But as long as there's conflict between wildlife and humans, the vulture's future hangs in the balance. I think for me, a world without vultures is just a mess. Vultures need protectors. I'm not going anywhere. <laughs>